Phoenix. Protesters out for justice after a man is killed, police say, during an altercation at a convenience store. Seven's Nicole Insalata has this story. Calls for justice. The rule is a great friend of mine. He was a real close friend of mine. Police say 34-year-old Akil LaRue Oliver died just outside the Quick Shop convenience store on Southwest 168th Street and 97th Avenue. Store workers accused of going on the attack, one beating him over the head with a crowbar. The defendant's going to be held no bond at this time. 24-year-old Raghab Suleiman is charged with second-degree murder. His 19-year-old brother, Nabil, aggravated battery. Police say he hit Oliver with a bottle. Police say the victim entered the store Thursday night, belligerent toward the brothers, whose background is Palestinian. The police report said the victim made insulting statements, including calling the clerk an expletive Arab, and they should return to their country. I don't know really what they was arguing about. But the way he was speaking to her, he was cussing and all that. Vincent Brown says he was inside the store at the time. He said the victim left and came back. The argument continued, and Oliver began to leave a second time. And that's when they started kicking him and punching him and jumping on him. That's when the dude came out and hit him with a crowbar and a, and a backing in the head. Oliver's family believes the fight was over seven cents he owed for a pack of cigarettes. My brother was going to get the rest of the change, the seven cent, out of the car. They followed my brother out of the store and, and pursued on beating him to death. We're feeling bad. We're feeling very bad. You're feeling Sad. bad? Yeah. Nabil, do you have anything to say? Nabil Suleiman had nothing to say as he bonded out of jail Friday, nor did his relatives earlier in the day. Now a neighborhood is torn apart, two brothers in serious trouble. Very hard working. And a 34-year-old father of two is gone. Those people didn't have to do that to him, uh, you know. Right. Over a couple words, you know, live and let that go. And Raghab Solomon remains behind bars, and as of late Friday, that store remains closed. Reporting in Southwest Miami-Dade, Nicole Insalata for Today in Florida.